The discussions, including representatives of the two major political parties, APC and PDP, have identified an emerging trend, namely the tendency towards the use of inflammatory language and the threat of violence. The panel of discussants advocates that regulators of the electoral process is advised to play an active role in ensuring that the threat to peace during and after the elections is identified and appropriate sanctions applied on those who are found culpable. Putting in place necessary proactive measures to ensure that um, we do not have a repeat of uh, what happened at the uh, palace of his royal majesty in uh, Benin. Uh, meanwhile, investigation into the incident is ongoing and as soon as um, we are able to unravel the mystery behind this, we will definitely make this uh, public. The useful exchange between the discussant also highlights the need for political actors to also play by the rules and ensure that violence during campaigns are mitigated by the various political parties. But I think it's because of the attitude some people are taking to politics at this uh, point in time. We have, uh, we did not accept it and I think everybody should condemn it. All political actors on APC, PDP, we have always been together. Crime, criminality, violence, excessive use of force was never in our agenda in winning election. We have always gone out to preach to people, sell our manifestos. If they accept, fine. If they do not accept, then it shows on election day. All parties recognize the need for peace and reveal that in spite of their political differences, they have the same ancestral roots. They also suggest that advocacy must be sustained in order to ensure that the emerging trend of campaign violence is also curtailed. In Benin, Adobeji Ojigba, NTA News.